reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Copper's Live Target Field Mouse. This came in a, my mystery tackle box, I believe last month. Um, took it out for the first time. Uh, as you'll see, you saw in the video and you'll see a little bit more towards the end. That was the very first time I ever picked it up and I was pretty impressed with it. Um, it seemed to walk very well um, side to side. It looked just like a mouse. Uh, swimming, this kind of this tail acts kind of as a rudder and keeps it going side to side. Um, I did notice this thing; it kind of plunges and dives into the water a little bit, which in some ways isn't bad because mice don't um, always swim on the surface just like frogs do. If you ever see frogs swim, they sometimes swim like you know this deep below the surface, um, and it, it it does the walk the dog under the water as well as on the top, and it just fills with water fairly quick. And I heard a lot of people on Instagram saying the same thing. So what I'm going to end up doing is. Uh, putting some super glue around the nose which a lot of times that's where you'll get water and then right where the hooks enter um, I'll uh, put some and then maybe around the tail um, just some super glue or some silicone just to seal it up a little bit and I think it should work a little bit better but as far as action wise goes it's really really um, awesome top water bait really different than what most guys would throw um, compared to the coppers live target frog so this is the other coppers bait that I can compare it to um, like I said it just walks the dog a little bit better has more action in the water and gives them a different look. I think they have this in two colors, a gray one and a white one um, that I know of that I've seen so far. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a good all around bait. I believe it runs for about the same price as a Cobbler's Life Target, um, between 10 and $12. And uh, like I said, two different colors. I can kind of compare the sizes. This is a 55T size Cobbler's Life Target frog. So it's longer and narrower. So it's more spook um, like, it looks like a topwater spook a little bit more. Um, than just a traditional frog, um, and I'll compare it to uh, a spook. This is a Livingston Lures Pro Sizzle, um, so you can see kind of the comparisons. Of course, it's not nearly as long, but as far as body shape and body type goes, um, very similar. Um, and you know, this thing walks side to side really, really well. So, um, besides the water coming into it, which I'm sure I can fix with some glue, it's a really awesome bait. Um, I'd probably throw this. Not necessarily around weeds. I'd probably throw this bait um, versus a frog skipping it under trees, lay downs, open water. Not around weeds. I don't think it would work that well. Um, but open water, walking the dog really, really quick, um, I think would be uh, pretty good and catch a lot of fish. So that's it uh, for this episode. And thanks for watching.